Hello, I'm Coach Mullins with Ruth Parker College Baseball. I'm the head baseball coach. Um, here to talk about the Camwood bat. I spent seven years with the Milwaukee Brewers in their professional system. Um, 1998, I got called up to the big leagues, and I've seen numerous, numerous hitters and numerous kind of bats, and numerous kind, kinds of um, gimmicks um, to to help a kid or help a young man or help help an adult learn how to hit. Um, the Camwood bat has been the the seller for me um, and my baseball programs. We've been using this bat here at Brook Park College for eight months now. We use it all this fall of 2010. And my first year at Bruton Parker was 2009, and, and we went through a whole season where we had 20, 24 home runs. Um, and we were looking for something. We were, we were giving, them, giving them their hitting instruction as much as we could. Um, hours and hours and balls and balls of being pitched. And we just we couldn't get them over the hump of, of hitting doubles, triples, and home runs, which, which is what professional people and professional scouts are looking for. And then I came across Mr. Frank Gregory. Um, and he has designed this Camwood bat. We have been using it now for eight months, and we hit more home runs this fall in a third of the games than we hit all of last year in the regular season. The thing I really like about the, this Camwood bat, it's you know it has the um, it has the, the balance leveler here that levels the bat, and, and it makes for a smoother, more flat swing. But it also is heavier, and you can use it while you're practicing. You can use it while you're playing. You can use it in the cage. You can use it off the soft toss. You can use it off of the tee. But it generates so much bat speed that bat speed consists of um, strength. But when you're swinging something heavier, and then you grab a aluminum bat in your hand, or you grab a regular wood bat in your hand, you swing the bat faster. Therefore, the ball goes further. And that's what I've seen with my own eyes. It's it's not a um, we're not here, or I'm not here to just be a spokesman. I'm here as a um, someone that has actually seen this work and seen it happen. And we will not use another training bat except the Camwood bat because of the power that it teaches kids, the flat swing that it teaches kids, and um, staying inside the ball, it also teaches kids. So this this bat kills three or four birds with one stone, and then most importantly, it causes more bat speed and causes the ball to travel further. Mr. Gregory has the Camwood bat for all ages, all sizes, all body weights, all body heights. So, I mean, there's not one person that he's missed. Uh, my eight-year-old uses it. It's the only training bat that he uses. And then I, you know, have 22, 23-year-old, 200-pound college kids using it. So it's a it's a training bat for all ages, all sizes. But the um, counterbalance to me is the and it sounds so simple, but it is it is it might be the most genius thing that I've ever seen for a hitter to use. Um, it's I, I use it, showing my kids how to hit or or giving them lessons or what have you. But it. It levels the bat out during the swing. From the start of the swing to the finish of the swing, the bat just stays leveling. And I've, we've done video analysis on it. We, I've done video on it during games, when we play inter-squad games or what have you, practice regular BP in the cage off a of soft toss or, or T-work. And then I'll videotape the kid using an aluminum bat or a normal wooden bat or even a fungo bat. And their bat does not stay as level as it does with a Camwood bat. It's Christopher Alvarez, and he's a college baseball player. And Christopher's been using the Camwood bat for right at a year now. And since he's been using the, the Camwood bat, because of the balance of the bat, his swing has gotten flatter. Um, his, his, his path of the bat through the strike zone is flatter, and it, it's caused him to really uh, blossom in his batting average, his power numbers. And he's going to do a little demonstration of how, how the Camwood bat makes you leveler through the strike zone. Um, and, you know, Chris is, uh, Chris will speak highly of this bat. He's not going to talk right now, but he's just going to show you some things with the Camwood bat. And as you can see in the video, Chris, Chris's plane of his bat, all four of those swings were perfect. I mean, if, if we could freeze frame this or you at home could slow motion this, all of his swings are in the same plane. And as, as we're soft tossing here, the bat out of a pitcher's hand is coming down. So we want the, the bat path being as flat as we can to the ball coming up. 
And Chris, since he's been using the camel we'll bat, that's going on in his swing. This is Christian Ruff. He's 13 years old, and he's been using the camel we'll bat for about a year and a half. Uh, and Christian has great tools to be a baseball player one day as he gets older. Um, the camel we'll bat has helped him as much as I've ever seen in any kid. Um, he's, he still has some learning experiences to go through. His bat has gotten so much flatter through the zone as well because of the balance of the camel we'll bat. Um, and as, as Chris swings, when the ball leaves the bat, you can, you can actually witness the baseball leaving his bat in a line drive to an uphill plane. And that's what we're trying to teach here. The leveler your bat is, the more back spun, spun balls you're going to get. And that, that creates distance on the ball, which will help your batting average and your power numbers, doubles, triples, and home runs. Over time, the Camwood bat will help your, your son or, or daughter hit better, hit further. The ball will come off the bat harder with more velocity, more miles per hour off the bat. You're, therefore, the batting average will go up. If they're hitting balls further, their, their slugging percentage will, will rise. Their batting average will rise. Um, their doubles and home runs will rise. My teams have done it. Um, I've seen it happen. We've used numerous, numerous bats, numerous training devices, numerous hitting training devices, trying to get our our uh, doubles, triples, and home run numbers up, our batting average numbers up, our slugging percentage numbers up, um, with no success. Since we started using the Camwood bats, this is the first team that I've ever had that every offensive category went up. And, you know, we can say it was this or we can say it was that. Me being the head coach, I know what it was. It was the Camwood bat. 